About me? What is it? I guess I'll go to Makanu. Natalie? What's wrong? I thought that a day like this might come eventually. Though I always hoped that it wouldn't. After all, you're easily misunderstood by others, and not at all honest. And you've got a mean mouth and a bad attitude. Oh, your eyes look kinda mean, too. Are you trying to pick a fight? Of course not! What I'm saying is that I'm very worried about you. What's wrong? Um, Miss Pie, right. Thank you for coming. So, you're our guide, right? Let's get moving. Understood. Please prepare yourselves and follow me. Follow you? Where? Um, the Moon Tree's headquarters. Both of you were summoned by the Seven Council. What exactly did the two of you do to get into so much trouble? Moon Tree, huh. Summoning both me and Haseo at the same time does pique my interest. Haseo, please invite Miss Pai and I into your party. Let's head for the Moon Tree headquarters. The area words are Delta Setting Eternity's Night Moon.
like the area worms. Moon tree. Seven Council, huh? It's the governing board of Moon Tree. It's comprised of the top seven member officers in the guild. So, that snob Sakaki is one of them, huh? But all the same, why were we summoned here? Probably. Show him your sincerity, Haseo! If you apologize from your heart, the Seven Council will forgive you! Huh? Apologize? What the hell for? Why should I apologize to someone without knowing what's going on? Ah! Don't lose your temper! Calm down! Calm down! Welcome to Moon Tree. Thank you so much for the other day. I'm the Guildmaster, Sokova. Mr. Haseo and Miss Pai, thank you so much for coming here on such short notice. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kaede. I'm terribly sorry we weren't able to thank you properly for coming to aid us the other day. Everyone present here right now is in the position of helping to manage Moon Tree. Moon Tree is comprised of seven units. The members of the Seven Council also serve as the captains of those units. This is the Guildmaster, and also the Unit 1 Captain, Master Zelkova. Sakaki of Unit 2. I am the Unit 3 Captain, Kaede. And Nala is the captain of Unit 4. Hiragi is captain of Unit 5. Sephora, the captain of Unit 6. And Matsu of Unit 7. Unfortunately, Nala, Hiragi, and Sephora could not be here today. But these seven make up the Seven Council. Master Zelkova said he wishes to properly thank you for saving him the other day. Thus, we sent Atali to come get you. Hey, this isn't what you said. Well, I guess I did log into the world without reading Kaede's email very closely. Ugh, that's just like you. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid this item cannot hope to express our gratitude, but please take it. Thank you, but... I wonder what the Guildmaster of a guild such as Moon Tree would be doing in a place like that. Oh, I was just there observing! What do you mean, observing? It's all well and good that you're so curious, but consider the burden for me, who has to go with you everywhere. I don't see a problem with it. It's fine if Master Zelkova looks around at his leisure. The rest of us are here. We can stay and handle the routine tasks. And what exactly do you mean by that, Sakaki? <laughs> Even though he may be the Guildmaster, Master Zelkova is at the same time 
just another player. There must be times when he wishes to forget his role and play normally. I am merely suggesting that the rest of us won't have any problems supporting Moon Tree during those times when our Guildmaster is absent. But perhaps I wasn't clear enough. Lately, there have been rumors that the Moon Tree Guild is now being run entirely by Sakaki. Sakaki's followers have been going around openly saying that Zelkova is just a figurehead. I see. So Moon Tree is split up into the Zelkova faction and the Sakaki faction, huh? Haseo! What? Haseo! You're participating in the arena tournament, right? I heard that the first round fight was great! Ah, uh, it was nothing. Ah, uh, I wish I could have seen it. I bet that your fight was really amazing. <laughs> huh, rumors are just rumors. There's no telling what actually happened. It was probably just a lucky victory. Say that again? Oh, I'm so sorry, really. I'm just the type who can never tell a lie. Shut up, you stupid yapping dog! What? Who are you calling a dog? You're always following Sakaki around like a helpless puppy. You couldn't look more like a dog if you tried. Why, you? Matsu. All right, fine. You'll find out soon enough. Hmm? Because guess what? You're gonna be facing me in the next round of the tournament. Whoa, really? That's amazing! I'll be sure to come watch! <clears throat> Mr. Haseo, Miss Pai, please allow me to show you the way out. No, we'll find it ourselves. Hey! Hmm? I see you haven't let your ability to anger others go to rust. That doesn't sound like a compliment to me. <sighs> it's your own business if you want to go around making enemies. Let me just say. From now on, refrain from using your avatar in the arena as much as possible. Uh, you're saying the same thing as Kuhn. What I am trying to tell you is that you are drawing too much attention. Like Gabi and Zelkova? Not only did you become famous for your miraculous come-from-behind victory, but guildmasters from the two most powerful guilds are interested in you. No telling how many eyes will be on you. Even though avatars can't be seen by normal players. You never know what might lead to someone finding out about GU. In other words, stop doing things that could potentially draw attention to GU. Exactly. It would be bad for you if things like avatars and epitaph users become public knowledge and get in your way of searching for Triage. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'll think about it. Don't just think about it, alright? You need to act on it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Since we're all done here, I guess I'll be leaving. See you, Haseo. Sure. Man. What was up with that Zelkova kid? Is he really the guildmaster for such a huge guild? What a difference from Gabi. Guess I'll log out and check my email or something. A 
fight with the captain of Moon Trees Unit 7, huh? Guess I should go register. I'll need to register for the second round fight at the arena counter. Gotta get Adelie in syllabus. sure about this? I mean, fighting somebody from your own guild, Adelie? Oh, yes. I got Sakaki's approval. After all, arena battles are different from personal ones. Sakaki, Sakaki, Sakaki. Man, you really listen to everything he says, don't you? Of course I do. Sakaki is a great man. Huh. What's so great about a guy who's trying to ruin his own guildmaster? Sakaki's not! He isn't like that! Where there's smoke, there's fire, you know. Huh? You just eat up whatever Sakaki tells you, don't you? In the end, you're always just spouting off someone else's opinions. Hey, maybe you should watch your back out there. Knowing Sakaki, he just might have ordered Adelie to hold back on purpose. All right, Haseo, quit it. That's going too far. Oh, well, it doesn't matter even if you do hold back in this fight, seeing how I'm going to win regardless. I'm surprised Sakaki can't even see. what you say about me, Haseo. But please, stop saying bad things about Sakaki. You! Haseo? Good luck. Let's have a great match. So it begins. The match everyone is waiting for, second round of the Demon Palace Tournament. Today's commentary will be from Moon Tree's Guildmaster. Hi, everybody. I'm Zelkova. I hope that you'll enjoy the match along with me today. All right, this match is shaped up to be between Moon Tree and Canard. 
What are you looking forward to seeing, Mr. Zelkova? Well... I'd love to see the come-from-behind technique Haseo showed us in his last match! Are you sure about that? If he comes from behind, then that means Matsu will... Hey, hey, pay attention. What are you acting all laid back for? I'm gonna show you just how different you and I really are. Get ready to fight! Let's go! Putting up an admirable fight against Moon Tree's Maverick, Matsu. I don't know. Matsu isn't fighting seriously yet. This is kind of nice. Hmm? I haven't had this much fun in a while. What are you talking about now? Don't tell me you're giving up already. Hardly. The real fight's just beginning. Aren't you fighting seriously? A long time ago, Matsu used to be a famous PK known as the Flame Sword Demon. When he came to join Moon Tree, he sealed away his main weapon. And he did this in order to separate himself from his past. Forget the lucky victory stuff I said. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're gonna lose! Okay. From now on, I'm fighting for real. <gasps> Unbelievable! This is an unexpected surprise. Could this spell trouble for Team Haseo? Yes, that's right. His main weapon of choice is a broadsword. That's the same one he used during his PK days. Flame sword. So you've been holding back until now. Perfect! Show me what you've got! Here I go! Haseo of Canard has defeated Matsu, the Maverick from Moon Tree. Now then, Mr. Zelkova, what do you think of this match's result? Huh? What the? He's gone! Mr. Zelkova, where are you? Where did you go? Well now, this is an interesting development. I didn't expect for you to be this good, Haseo. I guess the perfect time to move the pawns into position has finally arrived. <laughs> Are you satisfied now that your darling Haseo has finally won? I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I used my forbidden weapon. 
I'll take the heat. I bet you would be relieved to have a troublemaker like me leave your precious guild moon tree, right? So, are you satisfied? Huh? You've been looking for a chance to throw that weapon away all this time. The reason you couldn't do that was because you had never come across anyone strong enough to truly test your skill with it. Now that you fought Haseo, you must be truly satisfied. In that case, throw that sword away and be reborn. To become the real Matsu of Moon Tree. Yeah, it's just as you say. You're right, Master Zelkova. I have no regrets. Hey, Haseo, that was a pretty good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever. You just wouldn't go down. <laughs> Got something for you. We'll just call this a little something to remember this day by. If you feel like it, go ahead and use this sword. Later. I don't want this! Damn. He's gone. Um... Uh... uh thank you for another great match! Hey, Adelie! I guess what happened in the waiting room is still bothering her. Gotta go check it out. So, Triage's sign was located in Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. Expecting the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. Isn't that too cliche, Ovan? Hmm. So, what do you think is located on the other side of this wall? There's nothing. The graphics for backgrounds that can't be seen by the players are not rendered in order to save processing power. That's just like you, Yata. But I can feel it. It feels like there's something being held back behind this wall. This place is a prison. A prison? That was very dramatic and quite poetic, considering it came from you, Ovan. However, in that case... The question is, 
between the existence that lies beyond the wall and us, which is the one that is in the prison? I'm going to leave before the pursuer gets here. My comrade, it's you! Thank you for coming! The sign made by the hated Triedge is this way. He might come back at any time. Let us wait and ambush him. You're sure that Triedge is going to show up here? Of course! My animal instincts tell me that criminals always return to the scene of the crime. Don't tell me. You love cop shows, right? So, according to your animal instincts, when's Triage going to get here? That I don't know. Could be ten minutes, or maybe an hour, or half a day, or even two days. <laughs> I don't know. He'll see you! Go! Get away from there! Or a month! Or maybe half a year? But I don't want to ignore the possibility of three years. There's no point in waiting here. I'll head back to town. Hey! hey he'll see you! Go! Get away from there! Or a month! There's no point in waiting... Hey, he'll see. 